Welcome to the Parsha Perspective. Each week, we will delve deep in a weekly Torah portion to find a practical and insightful way to enhance your daily life. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Shalom Yimini. Each week, we will look into the weekly Torah portion to find inspiration that will complement your daily life and intensify your connection to God. This week's Parsha Perspective is being sponsored by the Berman family in memory of Ephraim ben Shaul. May his soul be uplifted and his memory a blessing. This week's Parsha Perspective is also being sponsored by David ben Tova. May Hashem heal all the physical and spiritual pain of the Jewish people. This week's Torah portion is Parsha's Pinchas. Our Parsha begins with Pinchas, the grandchild of Aaron, receiving a reward for killing Zimri, the head of the tribe of Shimon. He was publicly displaying the Midianite princess with whom he was consorting with. The reward Pinchas received was the Kohuna priesthood. The Talmud in Zavachim explains that when Hashem appointed Aaron and his four sons to the Kohuna, He said that this appointment was for Aaron, his sons, and the future generations. Since Pinchas was already alive at the time of the appointment, he did not receive the Kohuna, the priesthood. However, a question comes to mind. The Kohanim by nature were very kind people. As we see, it says by Aaron that he was an Oyev Shalom. He loved peace and he ran after peace. And that is why the kahuna, the priesthood, is called a bris shalom, a covenant of peace. And it is because of their inherent love of the Jewish nation that they are the only people that can diagnose leprosy, tzaras. Because we can be confident that they will make their diagnosis in a more empathetical manner. So how can the kahuna be given as reward for killing another Jewish person? Furthermore, what is the connection between the Kahuna and killing Zimri? Why was he given that specific reward? In Parshish Yisrael, where it speaks about the building of the Mizbeach, the Torah says that they may not use any metal during its construction. Rashi explains that the reason for this rule is because the Mizbeach is meant to make peace between the Jewish people and their Father in Heaven. And therefore, metal, which can destroy cannot be used in its construction. And this is exactly what Pinchas accomplished when he killed Zimri. The Jewish nation angered Hashem immensely by serving idols and frolicking with the Midianite woman. So Hashem placed a plague on the Jewish nation that killed almost 200,000 people. However, when Pinchas killed Zimri, the disease stopped and saved them from further destruction. He restored the peace between the Jewish nation and Hashem. Pinchas also showed his immense love for Hashem and the Jewish nation by killing Zimri, much to his own detriment. The Talmud at Sanhedrin writes about self-defense, that if someone comes to kill you, you must rise and kill them first. So according to Jewish law, Zimri had every right to kill Pinchas, even though he himself was committing a sinful and reprehensible act. Pinchas was ready to give up his life for the sake of the Jewish people. So when Pinchas carried out his act, he restored the peace between Hashem and his people, and therefore merited the kahuna, the priesthood, and an eternal place in the covenant of peace. For he exemplified the mindset and spirit of the kahuna. In our daily life, we must understand that to be successful in any aspect of life, you must take the first step. No matter how small or insignificant the act might feel, it will lead you on a path of action. It will change your mindset to become more productive, bringing you one step closer to accomplishing your goals, dreams, and ultimately your potential. There is a famous quote by Benjamin Franklin. Words may show a man's wit, however his actions shows his meaning. Have a great weekend and good Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to The Parsha Perspective. Check out our website, theparshaperspective.com. Send thoughts and comments to theparshaperspective at gmail.com. Till next time, thanks for listening.